people, welcome to the Plenty of Pop YouTube channel. Willow Smith sparked controversy with her first time shaving her head before she was even 13 years old. In a recent interview, Will Smith revealed that after he saw his daughter shaving her head while on tour during the recording of Whip My Hair, it prompted him to rethink how he would approach parenting going forward. Will Smith spoke candidly during a New York event this week about his children's success forced him to take a hard look at himself. The King Richard star shares son Jaden Smith and daughter Willow and wife Jada Pinkett Smith as well as another son from a previous marriage, Trey Smith. If you want more celebrity news content, plenty of pop fans, subscribe to the POP YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Willow and Jaden began establishing successful careers in acting and music at a young age. In fact, it was only 9 years old when Willow released the song Whip My Hair in 2010. The success of the song propelled Willow onto an international tour which allowed Will to evolve as a parent. BuzzFeed reported that Will recalled how Willow was performing in Dublin on that tour when she came off stage and exclaimed to him, Thank you, Daddy, I'm finished. Will, who would earlier tell Lee he would think his kid's triumph was a sign he was doing really, really well as a parent, said he reminded Willow of her commitments. He said to her that she had to continue the show, which made her ask, It doesn't matter to you that I'm done, Daddy? Willow Smith, who has cut off her long hair to defy her father, Will Smith, said that she was the most radical thing she has ever done. With a personal light reflection as a learning curve, Jada spoke with Glamour UK admitted to loving the bouncing light on her scalp. She mentions that she grew up with a complicated understanding of beauty and it is something significant for her. Willow, who earned worldwide fame with her hit single Whip My Hair, has met some success by shaving her hair in protest in 2012. Her dramatic decision to go from long curly hair to a long smooth rounded head was explained by saying, I like to see a glare on my scalp, a bounce of light. Shaving my head is maybe the most radical thing I've done in the name of beauty. On July 16 last year, the pop star released a concert on Facebook that featured Andrew and Avril Lavigne as special guests. At the very end of her show, while performing her song Whip My Hair on guitar, she had her hair shaved off to perform an even sicker solo. I'm thinking about shaving my head during the Whip My Hair performance, Willow uttered in a behind-the-scenes clip as reported by People. This is gonna be my third time in my life shaving my head. I'm always shaving my head at monumental times in my life when things are really changing. And this is definitely one of those moments. Recently, Willow Smith shaved her head in solidarity with her mom, Jada Pinkett Smith. In a caption of a picture posted to social media of both of them, she wrote, A gift is pure when it is given from the heart to the right person at the right time and at the right place and when we expect nothing in return. Jada shared the whole post to her feed and said, Willow made me do it because it was time to let go. But my 50s are about to be divinely lit with this shed. According to Willow in the midst of a concert, my favorite song in the set right now just because how it feels to sing would probably have to be Whip My Hair. Willow's album Lately I Feel Everything was dropped at the same time of her decision. She cut her hair during the tour which was called Whip My Hair Tour. Willow explained how there were a lot of layers in her relationship with her hair and skin noting that it's been a learning curve. Willow is known for changing her hair. She tells people that this comes from her personality as when she changes up her hair, it often reflects how she feels. According to her, however I'm feeling, I like to do that. I don't really like to think about it too much. I love to be free with it. I think just being me sometimes is radical. Willow expounded that idolizing other beautiful black women is what eventually resulted in a change in her perspective. When Will was talking to her, Willow left the conversation and continued with a guided tour. It wasn't until a few days later that she came to breakfast with her head completely shaved. Will reportedly felt like he had been texting on his phone and didn't pay enough attention to his daughter's emotions until she grabbed him and was sobbing. Will credits his daughter's act of rebellion with helping him discover the importance of feelings. Willow doesn't have to defer to any predefined societal dictates in her life and by asking such a challenging question, she sparked his interest.
My parenting style changed in that moment. He added that he went from thinking parenting was about pushing and prodding and cajoling his kids into the expectations he had for them to nurturing and nourishing them. I started to realize a seed is already a thing, Will said as per BuzzFeed. It's not my job to demand it be a thing that I needed to be satiated and gratify my ego. My job is to water and nourish and nurture that seed to become what it already is and to align myself with that seed versus pushing and prodding. The Wait a Minute singer was photographed by Glamour magazine where a figure-hugging bodysuit is featured with keyhole detailing. As Willow layered the look with a denim jacket and black skirt, she slipped her feet into stiletto boots and matching tights. Willow has shaved her head to support a newly revealed side of herself after telling her famous father that she wanted to quit her tour supporting Justin Bieber in 2012. Willow spontaneously cut her hair in protest when she was being forced to work in Australia. Widow had convinced Jada to shave her head at that time because Willow was dealing with serious hair loss due to alopecia. In 2018, Jada Pinkett Smith made a candid confession about her hair loss on the Red Table talk show. It's not easy to talk about it, but I am going to talk about it, she shared with Allure. She then recalled a fearful time in her life when her hair began falling out in the shower. It was one of those times in my life where I was literally shaking in fear. That's why I cut my hair and why I continue to cut it. Taking care of my hair has been a beautiful ritual as is now having the choice to have hair or not. According to Jada on Instagram, Willow made me do it because it was time to let go but my 50s are about to be divinely lit with this shed. It was terrifying when it first started. I was in the shower one day and had just handfuls of my hair in my hands and I was just like, Oh my god, am I going bald? She said to the fans. Willow said, Just looking at someone who's like me, living their truth and doesn't let what society says tear them down. I think that was the most important influence for me as a child. Like her music, her hairdo has evolved over the years. In the interview, she talked about her upcoming album Coping Mechanism and how exactly Excited she is for its release later this month. Music has been at the forefront of some of the Earth's biggest paradigm shifts, shared Willow. Part of the reason I love it is because it's such a strong agent of change. I definitely think there's always more to do in terms of the way we do business in these artistic branches and endeavors. It's systematic oppression. If we start to undo that, then hopefully real change can happen. In 2018, Willow decided to forgive her father for how hard she was during their tour. It was a couple of years, honestly, trying to regain trust for not feeling like I was being listened to or like no one cared how I felt during that time. Being interviewed by Lee in Brooklyn, people reported that Will attributed his daughter Willow saving him from a very damaging parenting style in his life. That was a major transition for me in my life. I feel like Willow saved me from what could have been tragic in my life. In his 2021 memoir, Will said that when he saw his daughter, my jaw nearly dislocated, dislodged, and shattered on the kitchen floor. My world-dominating, hair-whipping, future global superstar was totally bald. At the time, Willow was a budding music artist when she was performing her hit song, Whip My Hair, so her locks were an essential part of her image. Willow remarked on how black women have to work harder than any other races due to cultural pressure, saying that, as a black woman, there were a lot of layers to my relationship with my hair and skin growing up. It was definitely a learning curve. I had to look up to other beautiful black women. In her second look, she chose to wear a semi-sheer blue top that was embellished with stars. The stunner also modeled a pair of eye-catching false nails. Her face was adorned with jeweled adornments and they were placed neatly around her eyes and lips. At the 2022 Academy Awards, comedian Chris Rock mocked Jada's hair. Will found this unfavorable. Amid presenting one of the awards, Chris talked about Jada's hair indicating, Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, I can't wait to see you. Because in 1999, Demi Moore shaved her head for the role in G.I. Jane 2. Although the audience initially laughed, Will hastily went up on the stage and slapped the comedian. He then went back to his seat and told him twice to keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Gobsmack, Chris later looked at the audience and uttered while laughing, Will Smith just smacked the s 
out of me. Chris has been repeatedly known to come head to head with other celebrities in the past once in 2016 when he said Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. Jaden Smith attempted to clear up the matter by stating, and that's how we do it. Willow explained how her mother, who is an actress, exposed her to rock music at a young age. She also informed how she became an avid fan of the rock band Wicked Wisdom. Even as a toddler growing up, Willow grew to love music and touring. And watching her on stage inspired me as a black woman in metal, hell yeah. She also went on over how racism is a real issue in the music industry, revealing that some music bosses were unsure she would succeed as an African-American woman. Willow discussed, When I wanted to do a rock album, there were a lot of executives that were like, Hmm, if I had been white, it would have been completely fine. But because I'm black, it's, well, maybe let's just not and making it harder than it needs to be. If I go through that, every single other black artist is getting the pushback too. Willow reveals how she manages her mental health by saying, Recently, my mantra has been, I accept everything as it is and I'm grateful for it. Repeating that over and over again, that's really been helping me. She continued, I'll literally talk to myself like I'm my best friend and then be like, okay, what would my friend say to me right now? What would someone who really, really loves me say to me? It kind of feels unnatural because our own minds are so harsh sometimes. Recently, she shaved her head at a pop punk performance of Whip My Hair during a live event on Facebook. Now, she says she thinks a little more about things before doing them, which is a good thing. She believes it's an ongoing process to find the true self and constantly evolve into the best version of yourself. Willow is someone who is used to standing out. She is a Hollywood tale as old as time, daughters of superstars and has spent of the most of her time in front of the press, who has gone on to become a musician and actress. After becoming famous at a young age, she has already had so many titles in her orbit singer, songwriter, actress, guitarist, and spokesperson. She has a place where many celebrity children can crash and burn, trying to live up to the blinding star quality that their parents had. Inevitably, not everyone can cope with the pressure of living up to the brilliance of their parents' legacy so well. Willow seems to have found the answer by pioneering for herself. When we met on Monday morning in June from my office overseas, there are still clings from her being photographed for her shoot on Glamour magazine magazine's cover. She's actually calling us from it. She's surrounded by flashy styling team and has trusted people around her at all times like makeup artist Raul and photographers. She says it takes lots of handlers because she gets so much attention. Today, she's an ambassador for Moogler's Alien Goddess fragrance and will be presenting them alongside her own self-titled fragrance that would launch. Despite just getting off the plane and feeling jet lag effects, she takes to her new French work team with a familiar enthusiasm. With so much different languages that is said, she is able to engage with people at ease as they share lunch. The beauty of the Parisian weather helps put everyone in good spirits as well. Speaking of which, it is so pretty today, she says, with an excited smile while draped in a white robe. That's it for this video, Plenty of Pop fan. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person is a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you soon!